Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video I am going to show you in Ibis Paint how you can go through and actually create a banner for YouTube. And you're going to be able to make it so it can be seen on TV, on a computer, or on a mobile device and it's going to be able to work out any which way that you want it to. Now before we get jumped into that, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. And also down in the comments, let me know if there's any other information about Ibis Paint that you guys want to know a little bit more specifically that I could try to help you out with. And make sure you guys are getting the absolute most out of your creativity and how we can get you guys set up with what you need to know so looking at this you guys will notice that this right here is actually my YouTube banner that I have created and we're just gonna go through and the very first thing I'm gonna show you here is down at the bottom you'll see the second in is a little eye in a circle we're gonna go ahead and click on that and you're gonna get some information now the size that you can see here is 2560 by 1440 that's located right up at the top that's the size that you want to go ahead and get started with and that's going to make it so you can be on every type of platform that is possible that somebody's going to try to bring up your youtube page to be able to see so if we go through and we're just going to hit that green check mark right there and we're just going to back up one and we're just going to create a brand new one so here we are we're just going to jump right in we're going to go 2560 and then change the height to 1440 and then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now as we can see we got our blank canvas and everything's going to be set there. Now I'm just going to go through and if you haven't figured out exactly everything that's going on with some of the different things I do actually have a how to on thumbnails that's going to be very similar so if you haven't seen that video yet please make sure you guys are going and checking out that video on how to make thumbnails. But what we're going to do is down at the bottom, we're going to go into our layers, which is going to be the one with the whole bunch of boxes on it. So we're going to go ahead and select that. This is our layer screen. And when you're going through and selecting your layer, I'm just on layer number one. And I'm going to go into the little camera section here, and we're just going to go grab a random picture. And there we go. Just go ahead and, and blow that up so that way we've got that. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can go through and kind of adjust, and as you can see, that picture alone is not going to cover everything. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and shorten that up, and then clear that, and then we're gonna select another one. And this one here, we'll just go ahead and, and use this. That way it's a little bit different, um, depending upon however stylistically you wanna make it. For the video here, we're just gonna make it something pretty simple. Now. If there was something else we wanted to go ahead and throw in here, just to kind of show you a little bit different, I'm just going to come through here and grab Baba. Now that, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to make her right in the center there. So that way you guys can kind of get an idea of how the background can look and then also an individual layer that you're going to adjust through. The next thing that we're going to actually go through and do is hit the green check mark, get everything canceled up from here. There is actually a, uh, if you go onto Google and you do a search for YouTube banner template, you can go through and actually create a template banner and download it straight from there and you're gonna be able to adjust it however you need to in order to make sure everything's gonna work. I already have that here. And let's see here, scroll down here, right there. Now you can see right here, we're gonna go ahead and just save it for right now. As you can tell, that completely covered up my entire canvas. And we're gonna zoom in. You can see where it has the TV 2560 by 1440, desktop max, tablet, desktop minimum. Brush stroke there by accident. And then you can also see where it's also the mobile. So that's your safe area. That's where your text and logo, you know for a fact it's gonna be visible for anything that you set up there. So now you might be asking yourself, how can we go through and see what that canvas that we created, how that's going to look? Well, if you go into your layers and you'll see that we're at 100% at layer five, and that's what we have. We're going to go down to the background. We're going to make it so it's transparent, which is the third selection. And then at the bottom, you'll see where it's 100% and you'll see the minus and the plus. We can actually adjust how that looks and you can start seeing Fujita's face kind of pop up through there. 
and then the entire picture that's going to be right above if you look right across from layer two so we're just going to go through here just so we kind of see what we want we're going to go at 51 percent and minimize down now as you can see if i was trying to create something normally Bob, it doesn't look like she's going to be able to fit in there completely. And I, maybe that's my text or maybe that's whatever I really want to showcase through. All I have to do now is go right into it, into that layer, adjust the size. And now no matter what, that will pop up every single time somebody comes through. We'll just kind of zoom in. You'll see it's in the safe zone. I got a little bit outside the safe zone, but you'll know exactly that's what we want to have set up there. So that is uh, pretty much everything you need to know in regards to getting everything set up with the banner. Obviously, you're going to want to change some things around. If I want to actually go and alter where that's at, I can go through. Maybe I want to have something up here. Maybe I'm going to find out that my background, I really wanted to showcase the face a little bit more. I can maybe readjust it. But you want to remember that some people are going to be on a TV. Maybe they're, they're streaming through their PlayStation or their Xbox. So they're going to see everything. So you're going to want to have a, something that covers your entire canvas that's going to make sense. If we actually back up and look at mine that I have for my main one, you can tell that I don't have everything kind of up there. So not everything is gonna be set up 100%. And I don't even know if I've got the layer still there. Yeah, see I actually have it hidden with the little eyes so we can actually make that pop back through. But this right here, you can kind of see where mine is. And I know I could readjust that a little bit differently so that way everything's going to fit in perfectly. And it even looks like I can even adjust that a little bit. So you can kind of see that, hey, there's some differences that you can do in order to make it, want to really kind of tweak it, make sure that it's your own and, and make it as uh, creative as you possibly can. So hopefully today's video was very informational for you. Again, if you haven't done so, please make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. And also make sure you guys are giving me a thumbs up if you like today's video. Make sure to leave down a comment below as far as what I can do to help improve you on your Ibis Paint experience. But otherwise, thank you very much. That's today's video. We'll talk to you guys later.